Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of Fallout 4. We're hanging out here at the fort. I have fast traveled just between the episodes uh, from Slocum Joe's to the fort just so that I could drop some things off, yada yada. And what we're going to do now is we should be, if I remember right, yes, meet Deacon at the Old North Hill Church. So we're going to go back there and drop off our quest that we completed. So let's do exactly that. Okay, nearly there, just around a couple of corners, I think. Yes. <laughs> and there he is. And the new girl patched me up, put me on her shoulder, and blasted her way through the rest of the complex. Synths everywhere. Carrying you the whole time? Amazing, right? That's one word for it. Deacon told me you single-handedly secured Carrington's prototype, disabled a minefield, and wiped out a hundred Gen 1s. So is any of that true? Um. <laughs> Every word he said was true. And then some. A full hundred. I, I can't even imagine. <laughs> Just like I said, boss. Me and Deacon. I Deacon to grab a full team, including Glory, to secure that prototype. But instead, just the two of you cleared out the entire switchboard. You'd be insane not to sign her up, Des. You've certainly made an impression on Deacon. He's never spoken about or lied about anything <laughs> so highly. I think she knows. Welcome to the railroad, agent. Awesome. Okay. So. There is, um, I can join now. It's not like if I say yes now, it's the point of no return. Because we still have to do a couple of things for the railroad to get what I'm particularly after. Um... <sighs> So, oh, I'm sorry. Glad to be aboard. It seems we're very lucky to have you. So that's Here what we were going to do, basically. Now we need to know what to call you. Secrecy keeps us alive. Code names are a part of that. So what's yours? You better have an appropriate one. Uh, call me Professor. I don't want a code name. Call me Fixer. Have any suggestions? No. It doesn't work like that. Your life, your name, your choice. Uh, bullseye whisper charmer hmm let me think it's a big decision take your time well I guess fixer because I fix problems <laughs> have any suggestions no uh -huh. what were the other ones whisper bullseye and charmer uh well, I'm not stealthy, and I'm not ranged, and I don't talk to people good. Hmm. It's a big so I think we'll go with Fixer. Call me Fixer. Fixer certainly seems an apt name. Your first official order is to deliver Dr. Carrington his prototype and see if he can use another pair of hands. But first, it's time to meet the rest of the gang. The location of our HQ is All right. completely gone to space, so be careful coming in or out. You never can tell when you're being watched. Your cigarette is poking out of your hand. Don't know whether you noticed. Um, we'll just ignore that. <laughs> All right. So, Doctor Carrington is this you guy here. You got too many teeth to be a scammer. <laughs> it's not very nice. Sure, plenty of scavers have full teeth. Testimona told me to give you this. An extraordinary feat to recover this, but that's hardly the point. Without a lick of training and us knowing hardly anything about you, Des has invited you to join HQ. It would have been nice if she had consulted with her second in command. But what's done is done. Since you're here now, we might as well put you to work. Uh. You yeah. guys recruited me. I don't need your attitude. Charming. I'm sure you and Glory will be fast friends. Oh yeah, we're already friends. Agents, old man Stockton needs help with the runaway synth. H222. So headquarters, as always, puts out the fires that others can't be bothered to put out um, themselves. Paranoid how did I get behind you? Tell us the problem. He insists that we get our intel from a dead drop. All right. Sounds like an important mission. It is. After switchboard, we're so short-handed, I have little choice but to throw you into the deep end. The dead That's drop fine. is a mailbox. 
with a rail sign on it. It's a common meme. I've dealt with worse so far, I think. When you make contact with Stockton, he won't give you the time of day unless you give him the proper countersign. The current sign is, do you have a Geiger counter? And the counter is, mine is in the shop. Yep, Please we did that one already. Taught you that at least. He taught me what I need to know, including that. It appears our resident pathological liar didn't completely neglect your training. Stockton is a prominent businessman at Bunker Hill. The dead drop will be near there. Use the escape tunnel in the back to get there quicker. Carrington has Welcome to the quite family. the stick up his butt. Okay. So, city is under opposition control. I don't think I can do the quest that I need to do right now. There's a guy somewhere around here called Tinker Tom. There he is. You've been hitting the cams way too hard, but I got my eyes open. I see. <laughs> the sister sweep says you're clean. Hooray! We're bug free. You scanned me without my consent. It doesn't matter. Those conventional tests are garbage. Okay, have you eaten anything out there? Because if you have, they got you. No, I never eat anything. <laughs> See, that's smart. That's smart, man. S M A R T. But you gotta be careful. The Institute has these <laughs> tiny microscopic robots in the food, man. I love Tinker Tom. Watch your back. Tom, that's a rubbish. You just don't get it, Carrington. The Institute is in your blood. <laughs> They're in my blood. Absolutely not. Tom, we ran your tests extensively. We found red blood cells, white blood cells, platelets. Everything you'd expect. And that doesn't get you the least bit suspicious. The results were too perfect, too expected, and that's how they fooled you. <laughs> There's no proof. If we waited for proof for every Psycho Institute experiment, We'd all be worm food, man. Okay, okay. If you really want to be safe, let me give you a little shot. There's, there's the motor. Says no one has to, but it will kill those little robots. There's battery acid in that serum of yours. You can't nuke an omelet without irradiating some eggs. You ready to shoot up? Yeah, sure. Hey, Tom? Yeah, now you talking. This is the silliest thing. Now you're encouraging him. Hey, you, you get it, man. I make things around here. Oh, good. My vision's all wobbly. Do, you do whatever. And come back, and I will set you right. Ugh. I feel awful. Are you trying to kill me? That feeling is the price of freedom, man. Feel free. Now, I got all these ideas in my head. So building time. Right, right, right. You nearly killed me. Hey, I got everything you field agent types need. Even a few Tinker Tom specialty aids. <laughs> mm. All right, yes, we can't do what I wanted to do yet. I don't need anything. Um, oh, so it looks like we'll have to do the old man Stockton stuff first. I don't know whether these guys Use do the have a... Entry. Well, of course That's they have a doctor. They have Dr. Carrington, but is he a actual doctor? For my medical services. Let's see what's wrong with you today. Good, he is. Yeah, take a look at me, Doc. What's feeling off today? What can you tell me? Uh, can you cure my health? Recently. Got knocked around. Hmm. Gonna need to brace those fractures. Apply some cream the serum the fractured me? Stitches. Better get to it. Like it opened up lesions, it burnt my skin, and it fractured my bones. Done. Thanks, Tinker Tom. Now, was there anything else bothering you? No other complaints. Off you go then. Good. So, old man Stockton, huh? Um, retrieve the dead drop, which is where across the bridge. So, escape tunnel. Is this the escape tunnel? I actually have no idea. <laughs> Looks like it though. Yep. Let's go find that quest marker, wherever it is. 
I mean, is this the safest and quickest way out? I'm not totally convinced of that, to be honest, Dr. Carrington. This looks like it probably has mole rats. Filthy, filthy mole rats. It does have some nice loot, though. <laughs> um, unlock expert. You can't do that because I'm useless. Oh, well. You might be able to. I think you can unlock that terminal. That's right. You're broken for some reason. She doesn't obey commands. We discovered that last couple of episodes, I think. Yeah, not certain why that's happening. It may be... The... Oh, we've got raiders out here. There's every chance... Shush! There's every chance that the uh, broken Ada commanding is uh, to do with do with mod conflicts or something but I'm not totally sure. I'm just gonna sneak out this way. I don't feel like fighting some raiders right now. Especially while we're so close to the uh, dead drop. Oh what? Eh, they're too far away. If Ada's not caring about it then I don't have to. Right, let's get to this dead drop. Which is so close, yet so far away. Any second now. What was that? It's like an explosion in this building. Hello. Oh, my luck. Hello. That works. Okay. So, dead drop is here. Stockton's hollow tape. Okay. Um, inventory. Misc hollow tapes. Where are you? No, really. Where are you? There. Stockton. Update. Observed unusual activity has ceased. Window is open for a heavy to make contact, but they should act now. The package is still in my possession. It cannot remain here safely for much longer. Out. Okay, so there was nothing important in there, but we are nearly at Bunker Hill, so we get to talk to Stockton and figure out what he actually wants. You there, caravan or raider? I'm here on my own, freelance, huh? All right, come on in, but no gunfire. Market's open. You can do as much trading as you like. Sweet. That is terrible security. Whatever it brings, it's gone. Is it supposed to be that? I'm half tempted to join the railroad with all this shit. You talk some sense into my numb skull son. Getting involved with the railroad is just trouble. Um, hey, hey, this is between the two of you. We got a good life here, and you throw it all away. All I do here is help crusty old caravan hands, no offense, go blind off rot gut. At least the railroad's fighting the Institute. And why not save sense? Might as well go off and join the Death Claw Preservation Society. <laughs> uh. I wouldn't mind getting some service here. Where are my manners? If you want a drink, talk to me. Need a bed? Well... Hit up Numbskull over there. Fine place to sleep right here. Reasonable rate. Yeah, I'm not getting in 
involved in that. Uh, I will rent a room though. Not getting involved in that conversation. No extra charge. Great. So upstairs. Yeah. Totally sweet mattress out in the open air. Um. We'll just sleep a bit and go find Stockton. Where are you, Stockton? You are still in bed? No? You're in wherever this is. Welcome, my friend. Might I ask, do you have a Geiger counter? Nah, mine's in the shop. Mine is in the shop. You? I was expecting someone a bit more uh, armed. You're with our mutual friends, yes? I mean, he's not wrong. I don't use weapons. <laughs> I've got two weapons on my on my arms connected via sinew and muscle that went horribly wrong. Um Let's say I am. Of course. You've just joined, haven't you? All you need to know is this is the first stop for all our new packages. So maintaining proper security here and preventing any unnecessary delays is Crucial. Yes, sir. No one likes delays. It's bad for business. My current package has been in my possession far too long. I'm supposed to deliver the package to some place nearby, but raiders have complicated matters. So, if you could. Facilitate delivery. I can do that. We're supposed to make the delivery at night. So once you clear out the undesirables, we'll meet after the sun sets. Alright. You there. Uh, let me need to have a conversation. Do we? Let's hear it. I'm always looking for people who know how to handle themselves in dangerous situations. From what I hear, you may fit the bill. Okay. What's the job? I don't know yet. Whatever needs to be done once my boss has had a look at you, I can assure you that it will be dangerous and that you'll be paid fairly. I don't mind danger, so long as I get paid well enough. You will be well paid. I can promise you that. By the way, I'm Edward Deegan. You'll mostly be working for me, but you'll need to talk to my boss first. His name is Jack Cabot. He likes to personally interview everyone I hire. He's careful like that. Come down to Cabot House in Beacon Hill and ask to talk to Jack. I'll let him know you're coming. No problem. Right. So that's not what we're doing, though. We are clearing out some undesirables which is still our selected quest that's good and it's over that way right let's do it busy here catch up with you once i've found where we're going all right so i'm already being fired at looks like whoever it is is hanging out in this church maybe maybe Oh yeah, they're in the church, right? Okay. Good. You know what? I should probably do this properly. Where's my medics? They're not so bad. They're already done. Is that really all there is? Okay. I can live with that. And yes, I'm picking up flowers now. Specifically picking up vases. Somebody has a rocket launcher out there. I heard the whoosh. Okay. Right, so we have to wait till night time here. It's 
just sit in a pew. You have to either be sitting or laying down to wait. <laughs> so convenient that these pews are here. Um, and we'll wait till midnight. All right. So our friend has not arrived. Which is a pain. Ah, oh, there he is. Hello. Hey. Everything looks clear. This is H222. H2, here's the person I talked to you about. Nice to meet you, H2. Another person actually happy to meet me. This'll take some getting used to. Remember what I told you, H2. I'll fire up the signal. Let me guess that lantern. Yep. And there. Time for me to go. Keep H2 safe. Someone will be here shortly. Sure. H2, you're in good hands. You have a death robot and me protecting you. And I'm almost as good as the death robot. <laughs> Where's our friend? Where's our new... Oh, there he is. Hello. Hi, Rise. Easy there. Don't shoot. Fixer, right? I heard about you. Walked the Freedom Trail, cleared out Switchboard. Glad you joined the team. Do you have a Geiger counter? Right you are. Mine is in the shop. All good? Now, let's take a look at our friend. Hey, you... You okay? A little rattled, but I've never been better. The other man, he said I shouldn't talk too much. I told you right, H2. You'll need a real name and a new face, but we'll get to that. Oh, listen. There's more than raiders behind me. Afraid we need a little more help. Yeah, no problem. More raiders? Not a problem. You headquarter heavies mean business. We need to get to Ticonderoga safe house, my home. A lot of sense fresh off the boat crashed there until we smuggled them out of the Commonwealth. Nice that you're willing to do that for us. Yeah, I'm working off sands from a misspent youth. I'll lead the way. Okay. You're gonna... There we go. <laughs> so. Our raiders are probably just around the corner somewhere. Yep. You can hear them already. Although I did hear a super mutant as well. Oh yeah, no, they're fighting someone. Someone with lasers. Probably Brotherhood, maybe? Probably, maybe? Okay. I assume that's my cue. <sighs> right. <laughs> it's good. Good, good. Make sure you don't leave anything useful behind. I did very little work in that exchange, but that's fine. H2, what are you doing? You're not going to make me fight the super mutants, are you? Maybe you are. Yep. Who said that? Oh. Oh. Alright. That's different. Maybe I should have been watching my health, huh? Alright, well. We, well. <laughs> have to wait for them to arrive again and all that junk, so I'll be back once uh, we're back to where we were. Okay. So I'm back and we um, cleared things out. 
So, didn't get attacked by that legendary. In fact, um, it seems to be that it's a whole bunch of gunners now. This guy is taking his sweet time to get moving. One of those bullets was bound to hit. Got any more going on? Yeah? What are we doing? <laughs> I don't think we're going to run into any more trouble anytime soon. Right? Hi, Rise. And we're here. All in the night's work for you agent types. Huh. Just part of the service. I think I'm going to like you even more than Glory. If you ever need grub, bullets, or just a power nap. Take the elevator up to Tycon. The house is yours. But right now, I need to take care of H2. Later. Cool. So, report back to Dr. Carrington. We shall do just that. And I think that will uh, be a good point to wrap up. Okay, Dr. Carrington, where are you? Somewhere in here. Presumably. Somewhere. Up there, Sleeping. Hey, get up. Hey, bro. Whoa, 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 what's... H222 situation has been resolved? Of course, but there's yet more to be done. Since the fall of the switchboard, we've ascertained the fate of all but two safe houses. I want you to check on Augusta. Okay. I'll get it done. Details away to the dead drop. Have a care. Odds are very good. You're walking into something nasty. Tinkers up to something stupid in the background. Ah, this is what we're looking for. Okay, that's good news. Let's go talk to Tinker. I think then we will wrap up. Okay. I can prove that the Institute is terraforming the Commonwealth. Eat that, Carrington. Yeah, that's really great, Tom. I told Dez I could count on you. So my sensor, I call him Mila, needs to be up high. Real high. Dez forced me to put some cameras and, you know, other low-tech surveillance crap on it to watch the Freedom Trail. Chuck that <laughs> stuff if you need to. Like, you know, who couldn't spoof a conventional camera, right? No, oh, Tinker Tom, you're being used. That's cute. Okay, I'll take I'll good take care of Mila. Take care of Mila. She's got a lot of sensitive components, so be gentle. All right, I got the perfect spot picked out. Set Mila up and let the juicy data pour in. Okay, cool. So what this will do is this will improve our standing with Tinker, which means his shop will change, and eventually we get a certain reward from doing this, which is why I've been. I didn't realize they were a couple. <laughs> Ship it. Um, which will allow us to get a certain reward, which is why I've been doing the railway, railway stuff. Anyway, thank you all for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.